Date Picker is a Xamarin Forms view that allows the user to select a date. The Xamarin Forms Date Picker invokes the platform's Date Picker control and allows the user to select a date. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech in audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms Date Picker. 2. Bind the properties of the date picker. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Let's say we want to count the number of days between two dates. So we need to add two date pickers. and a label to display the number of days. Let's run the app first to see how it looks like and its default value. The default date is the current date. So if we tap the date picker element, a calendar-like form will pop on top of the page, where can pick a date. Now let's go back to our code and modify some of its properties. So here we give each element a name so that we can access them later to our code behind. I also set the date format to D, this will display a long date pattern. Then add an event called date selected to each date time picker. And they both trigger the same event handler. Notice also that the end date object has a binding that targets its minimum date property. The binding source is the selected date property of the start date object. This ensures that the end date is always later than or equal to the start date. Now let's go to code behind and implement the event. Inside the method, I simply subtract the two date time pickers value then assign it to a time span object. Using a time span, we can also access the total number of hours or minutes, or millisecond, etc. But for this demo, we just needed the total number of days. Let's run the app again. If I change the start date date picker forward, the end date date picker is automatically adjusted. This is because the minimum date property of the end date is bound to the date property of the start date date picker to ensure we don't get negative days. And here is the total days, which is the difference of the two date picker. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.